Great Shelf Vault, and we'll be taking a look at the recent past synergy between you and your person. We'll find out what's coming up, we'll see what the challenge is going to be, and then we'll find out what the outcome is. So, Virgo, the recent past energy between you and your person. Well, what came up for you was the Ace of Swords, and it's with Justice. Now, the Ace of Swords, it actually can indicate a new beginning of some sort in your life, possibly on several fronts. Just know that sometimes this new beginning, it gets started by some type of separation. Could be from a relationship, a job, or maybe a situation. But just know that as anxiety producing as such a new beginning can sometimes be, underneath it all is actually a really good beneficial energy that's getting you to where you need to be or where you want to go. Now it's with justice which deals with the idea of karma and the law of cause and effect. So it's important to, rem to remember that not everything you're dealing with, however, is a, a result of your own actions or karma because sometimes we're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone we care about and this can sometimes be as difficult and demanding as it is when we're up against something that's completely of your own making so don't blame yourself unnecessarily and if you're di if you're directly involved in a court case and you get the justice card in a reading just know that it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So what I'm getting for you, Virgo, and your person, the recent past energy, Ace of Swords, clarified by Justice. So for a lot of you, I'm picking up some type of payback type of energy. Yeah, you feel like it's time for for justice to be served. It's time for payback. Or it's time for your person to get what they deserve. Yeah, maybe you've gotten some clarity or something has come to light. You've gotten some truth. And now you just want justice. Yeah, so... For a lot of you, you want your person to basically, yeah, get what they deserve. I'm getting because it's, there's a huge sword here. And it's not, it's not a pretty picture, this Ace of Swords. I'm getting that you realize that you need to put a stop to your thinking. Yeah. Stop thinking that your person needs to be paid back for what they've done. Yeah, what they've done to you, what they've done to the connection. So your person, they probably did something to you that was not very nice. Maybe more than once. And you've got this type of, you got some type of fury against them. Yeah, you want them to be, you want them to be paid back for the things that they've done to you. And yeah, you want justice to be served. You want karma to step in. But you realize you need to stop thinking like this because it's unhealthy. Yeah. It's unhealthy to, maybe, I don't know, some of you are wishing ill will. Because I don't like the way the sword look. 
I don't like the way this face of swords is looking. So if somebody didn't do you right, your person, and now you just want them to be paid. You want them to, to be paid back. You want them to feel what you felt. But you realize that you need to stop thinking like that. But you want payback really bad. Yeah, so you realize, like I said, you need to stop thinking like that. You need to cut those thoughts out. And just go towards a new beginning. Because the Ace of Swords is about new beginnings. Of some sort. But there's things that you have to put a stop to for you to get this new beginning. So yeah, once you stop thinking like that, stop thinking about payback, just go towards a new beginning. Because something great is trying to happen for you, but you got this fury. Some type of fury and justice needs to be served. You got that in your head. New beginnings, they can't start like that. So we move on over, and we'll take a look and see what's coming up. We have the Queen of Swords, and it's with the Four of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords can't point to a woman in your life. This woman, she's not to be trifled with. She could have dark hair, dark eyes, but it could go either way. And if this is not an actual person, it can point to the need for you to be forceful, honest in some situation just to get your needs met. So you might need to put your foot down. The Queen of Swords can indicate that your instincts, they're serving you well. You already know what it is that you want and need. Now you just have to go after it. This is a very, very forceful energy. And some people find this energy really abrasive. Now, it's with the Four of Swords which is a card that signifies a break, could be from normal life or a personal situation. Now this can also mean that you or someone in your life may withdraw for a time. The withdrawal is not permanent. It's also a sign that you might need to give people their space. You're probably in need of some time and space to yourself. Others could be pushing too hard for bits and time of your of your attention. Don't hesitate to draw boundaries or to just say no. On the other hand, when the, when others say no to you, you want to take them at their word. Because if you push in this circumstance, it could be asking for trouble. So Coming up, Virgo, Queen of Swords, with this Four of Swords. So what I'm feeling is that, like I said, you got some type of fury against your person. Yeah, some type of anger. And it's draining you emotionally. Yeah, it's draining you. Because if you look at the Four of Swords, it's the card below the word present. You see how this man, he, he went to the top of the mountains. He took his four swords and his four dogs and a candle. And it's all about rest after a struggle. Yeah, he, he plans on being there overnight or maybe a couple of days or nights. And I say this because he's, he's got a candle lit in his shoe. So he's preparing to be there overnight. And if anyone bothers his rest, his peace, he'll pull out the swords and he will use them. So yeah, you're feeling like you need a break. You're, you're very drained. And this type of fury, yeah, it can cause you to have mental stress and physical stress. But because the Queen of Swords is, is showing up here, 
you you realize that you gotta face this person and you you're feeling it's gonna be you're thinking it's gonna be really ugly because do you know that it's going to bring out your worst side? Yeah. And you could be avoiding this. You know what you have to do. You need to be... You're going to have to be cold and bold. Or if, you, if you're feeling that you... Or you could be feeling that that's the energy that's going to come out of you. Your, your dark side is going to come out of you. You know that you gotta face this person. And some words are gonna come out. Some things are gonna be said that, that are hurtful. Yeah, it's time to put your foot down. Because you're emotionally and physically drained. You need a vacation. You feel like you do. Or you just need rest after some type of struggle. Like I said, this can be a struggle when you have fury towards someone. So you realize you need to face this person. And you know it's going to be ugly. So maybe you're deciding to take a break before you do so. Or maybe that's the break after you've released all of your anger and frustration. So we move on over and take a look. And see what the challenge is going to be. Okay, so we got the Two of Pentacles. Ends with the Three of Swords. Now, Two of Pentacles can be about two main issues at front in your mind. So you might need to pull back from trying to pay quite so You might need to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things. Because multitasking is not your friend. You might need to cut down on things that you're doing. In order to focus on maybe just two main priorities. Maybe your financial situation needs to be more balanced. You want to be sure that you're paying attention there. Okay, so it's with this Three of Swords, which is showing an element of sorrow. That's undeniable when you get this card in a reading. But what's on the other side? Of this sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy. So make sure you fully experience any sorrow, sadness that comes up. This way you'll be able to move past it. Yeah, this card can point to a very deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you not if you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience the pain that comes up now, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. Because you can get stuck there. You can end up waking up every morning thinking that this is the new normal and it's not. However, you're the only one who can decide how. How long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you? So you challenge two of pinnacles clarified by this three of swords. So yeah, like I said, you know it's time to put your foot down and face this person instead of just wishing them ill will or wishing that justice or karma would just step in, you know that you have to do the work. You gotta put your foot down and face this person. And if you know it's gonna be ugly. It's draining you emotionally. So with the two of pentacles showing up here and this three of swords. Yeah, you you could start to bury yourself in work. Or maybe something you're doing to try to take your mind off of this. Yeah, you're trying to focus, refocus on something else because you're emotionally drained and physically. So you go into, you start working a lot, putting a lot of time and energy into work. Or maybe you're over-exercising because he's... 
got two pinnacles in his hand. Those could be balls. He's juggling. He's just multitasking. And that's what you're doing. A lot. You're doing a lot to take your mind off of this. And because of because it's with the three of swords, it's showing that you're hurt. Whatever your person did to you, it really hurt you. Yeah. You're very hurt. And you're trying to bury yourself. Or bury your feelings. With work or just doing a whole lot. Multitasking. You really don't want to face this person. You really don't because you know it's going to bring out the worst in you. But it's saying it's time because you got some new beginning to go towards. And you can't do it unless you put your foot down and go head to head with this person. So that's a challenge. Now we move on over and we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. We got the Queen. I'm sorry, the King of Swords ends with the Two of Wands. Now, the King of Swords can stand for a powerful, opinionated, forceful person in your life. He will often, but not always, have hair on the darker end of the spectrum. You could be tempted to think only about how things affect you personally, especially when this card does not represent a man in your life or a person in your life. So you might need to consider the feelings of others before you act. The King of Swords is a very, very forceful energy. Yeah, it's interesting because we've got a true pair here. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, that's interesting. Very, both are very forceful energies. You know, the King of Swords, just like the Queen of Swords, you may not be able to get this man in your life or person to change their mind or to do what you want. So you might need to change something major about your behavior, thoughts, and or expectations. Now let's put this Two of Wands. Two of Wands, it's important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the simple, mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Two of Wands, it can indicate a partnership with another person. Could be business, personal, or both. It reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if you're feeling out of balance at this time, just know that things are about to get substantially better. But it's all about keeping your eyes on the prize. So the outcome, Virgo, King of Swords, clarified by Two of Wands. So it looks like your person, this person that you're, you're wanting justice to be served to, you're wanting them to get what, what they dished out to you, um, this person who hurt you. Yeah, it looks like they know that you have a lot of fury and anger and resentment. They know it. That's why they got this huge sword. It's it's up. It's upright. And they're ready to guard against you. And they're ready to go head to head with you. They know that you're ready to come at them. They just know any day now. You're about to explode. They're preparing for it. And like I said, this is a true pair. King of Swords and Queen of Swords. So this could be really ugly. Really ugly. Yeah, you'll be going at, at this person with a lot of force and they'll be blocking you or coming at you with a lot of force. This could be the ugly, very ugly, true pair. But the 
and the good thing about it is that this Two of Wands is here. Two of Wands is about two options towards a future, two paths towards a future. Trying to make a decision. Yeah, so you realize that once you do what you need to do, once you release all this anger, release all this fury and let this person have it. Once you put your, finally put your, put your foot down, you know in the back of your mind that um, it's going to be a good thing for you. Because you've got two paths towards the future. Yeah, if you look at the two of wands, it's a card below the word outcome. This man has his hand tied to one wand, but his back is facing you. I'm getting that that's this person. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you still got some type of tie. This person still has some type of hold on you. That's why your hand is tied to the wand, but your back is facing it. And you see how he's looking? He's got his back. Well, he's looking. Well, for the other one, he's facing that direction. And he has his ankle tied to the other one. And he's looking directly in the eyes of that one. And he is facing that one. Like I said, he's got his back turned to the other one. And just only his hand is tied to it. So this person has some type of hold on you. Yeah, but you know that once you do the cutting out and once you go ahead and let this person have it, it's taking you to your new beginning. Yeah, and that's why you, you're smiling. That's what wants. I don't know if you can see his face, but if you put the your screen on full, you can see how he's glowing, this person. And he's looking into the eyes of another direction. And he's happy. Yeah, so this person got some type of hold on you. And yeah, I guess that's why there's hurt here. And you know, you're trying to release it. But you gotta go through... You gotta go through the channels, the ups and downs. You gotta go through the the motions before you could release this this hurtful energy that your person has put you through. So Virgo, that is the reading that I have for you. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, how you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So, Virgo, I thank you so very much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season. Just hang in there. It's going to pass and we'll all get through this. So stay strong. Take good care of yourselves. Come back and join me for the next Virgo reading just in case this did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also, keep in mind if you're not dealing with any, anyone romantically, your person could actually be a friend, a family member, or someone that you know, or it could be a situation. And yes, the roles can be switched. You could be them, or they could be you in this reading. So, take the reading for however it resonates. Because these are just general readings, they're not personal readings. So, Virgo, I can never say it enough. I thank you so very much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading, and take care.